Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. I hope you're having an amazing day. It is Sunday, June 29th, 2014. <clears throat> and this is the facts of the matter. Do you want to get rich? George is young, aggressive, astute in business, and getting rich. He claims to be a believer in Christ, and he might be. But I noticed that when I broached the subject of winning the lost and investigating time in people's lives for the kingdom of God, his eyes seemed to glaze over, and his attention wanders. In my gut, I get the impression that George is being seduced by the love of money, which, as we know, is the root of all kinds of evil. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. So let me ask you a question. Do you want to get rich? Clearly, God tells us not to put in the effort. Proverbs chapter 23 verse 4 Labor not to be rich. Cease from thine own wisdom. Also consider these verses. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 27 He that is greedy of gain troubleth his own house, but he that hateth gifts shall live. Proverbs chapter 23 verse 5 Wilt thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away as an eagle towards heaven. <clears throat> Proverbs chapter 28 verse 20 A faithful man shall abound with blessings. But he that maketh haste, he that maketh haste to be rich shall not be innocent. And Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5 Let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with such things as ye have that can preach. For he has said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. So many people are not content with what they have. They always want more, 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 more. Or they're afraid to lose what they already have. But if you do, then here's what you can look forward to. You will fall into temptation and a trap. You will fall into many foolish and harmful desires that plunge men into ruin and destruction. You run the risk of wandering from the faith and piercing yourself with many griefs. 1 Timothy chapter 6 verses 9 and 10 But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a sense and a snare, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men into destruction and perdition. Verse 10. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some covet and after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. So, question. Just where is your focus? 
on money or on knowing Jesus Christ. It cannot be on both because Matthew chapter 6 verse 24 No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. And verse 21, Matthew chapter 6 verse 21, For where your treasure is, there your heart be also. If you treasure your possessions, <clears throat> then you're worldly. But if you treasure what, what's waiting for you, going and seeing Christ and being with Christ, then that's where your heart is. It's in heaven. Jesus reassured us that if we pursue <clears throat> that if the pursuit of him is our primary focus he will provide for our material needs Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you God may in fact endow you with wealth the difference is that when he gives it, it is void of apprehensions. <clears throat> Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22. The blessings of the Lord, and maketh rich, and he, had no, and he addeth no sorrow with it. Question. Do you want to get rich? How many are you still scream Jess? Or do you want to know Christ? It is either it is either one or the other. It cannot be both. You cannot worship your money, your items, your things, your possessions, and Christ at the same time. It can only be one or the other. Jesus Christ or your stuff and money. <clears throat> and that is the facts of the matter. For Sunday, June 29th, 2014. Peace be in you, my brothers and sisters. May the Lord have mercy on us all. My fellow brothers and sisters in Christ, if you are rebelling, repent. Re rebellions are worse than sins. You know you shouldn't be doing what you're doing, yet you figure, he's long-suffering. What does it matter? I'm going to do it anyways. Oh, Sister Nicole, that's kind of harsh. That's not how we're thinking it. Yeah, right. You choose to do what you want to do in your rebellion. And that makes it worse because at least before you knew Christ, you were ignorant. Now you know what you're doing. And you just don't care. You do it anyways. Spitting in his face, pretty much. Oh, he's long-suffering. Not for very much longer. Repent. I love you guys very much. God bless.